So for today's tip of the day, I'm going to show you what to use if you haven't got a countersink bit for your drill. So if you haven't got a countersink bit, there is you can use a spade bit and it will leave a slightly deeper hole. Um, but you, you can use, what, what I'm going to use, is a 10mm wood bit. Um, you can use, it doesn't have to be a wood bit, obviously not a masonry bit because it probably wouldn't do any good. Um, but yes, this, and I'll show you right now how it works. Uh, so you've got your screw, um, got a hole here, which is fine. A lot of time it, the screws might actually have a natural countersinking part in it, which will just sink into the wood, but it doesn't always look that great. So sometimes you just wanna uh, make a little hole for the, the head to go into. And what you can do, is so I've got a 10 mil bit it depends on the, on the head of the screw so I've all I've done is measured the end of the drill bit against the screw head and you can see that it's exactly the same size so if you draw a tiny little hole on in top of there then the head will countersink so if you place the bit in the hole you've drilled for the screw you do need to hold the bit of wood that is, it's churned out a little bit, but that's because it's uh, not a very good bit of wood. See from here, it goes below the surface, ready to be set, filled, sanded, you'll never know it's there. There we go, there's my tip of the day. So hopefully that helped. Please hit like, please hit subscribe, and stay tuned for more. If you've got anything to add, please add a little message down below. Thank you very much.